Hello, and welcome to Clan Scryer. <laughs> uh, so, last time you all saw that I got wrecked by Clan Moors, so this time we're going with a uh, Skaven playthrough. And... Yes, whatever. Um, so we're going to actually be showing off a couple of different mods. Uh, compared to last time, at least. And the first thing you might have noticed is up here in the upper left, we have a population mechanic. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, ultimately, what it does is uh, more limits the rate that I can uh, recruit things at. So, anyway. Uh, yeah. So... Just for basic things, uh, fodder, that's going to be your Skaven slaves and whatnot. Your elites are going to be your uh, storm vermin. And then we have assassins for your clan Eshin units, engineers for all of your um, weapon teams, and most of your siege equipment, if I remember right. Um, and then monsters for things like your uh, rat ogres and uh, whatnot. So that's that. And then, what was the other one? Uh, well, let's just continue with the population mechanic. You'll uh, see here on the left, we've got population. Uh, if migration is possible, and then what we've got specifically in that settlement. This being Skaven Blight, it's obviously hundreds upon hundreds of thousands of Skaven. Anyway, we've got some things over here uh, pointing out uh, exactly how screwed we are because we're starving to death. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's not going to change anytime soon, let me tell you. Um, so we've also got these three options here. Standard, uh, Expel, that gets rid of, uh, well, anyone who we can't feed. And then Exterminate only kills off anyone who's not of our race, which uh, for Skaven Blight doesn't actually matter because there'll never be anyone else. Um, and then we've got adequate workers, income plus, yay. Racial bonus, that just gives us more food. Not this food, but uh, this food, which is slightly different. <laughs> anyway, we'll uh, want to start getting more stuff. You'll notice that there's a food plus 10 and a food plus 4. The top one is for the population mechanic. And then the second one is for the uh, normal, just Skaven food mechanic. Anyways, before I forget, come over here and grab that because it is the most hilariously overpowered ability in the game. <laughs> uh, all right, what was the other one? I had something to do. With recruiting. Where are my schematics? I remember right. Ah, oh, well, I'll explain it when I remember what it is. Anyways, we're not going to be doing the uh, turn to uh, level 3 Skaven Blight this playthrough because. Well, yes, I can actually do oh, that. No, no! Um, it just mm. crashes these numbers down to actual zero, which no, is Wobstone. extremely problematic. All right, which one? Yes, it's yeah. Taskmaster's platform gives us pu public order, so uh, for now we're gonna. Grab these things that give us income, and then upgrade Skaven White. Yay! All right. Warlock engineer. 
Uh, once I get him a few levels, I'll put him in Ikaclaw's army because I quite enjoy that increased mobility range, but um, I also like being able to uh, have a few levels for him since um, the uh, level 3 requires a level 15 Warlock Engineer as well as a level 15 Warlock Master, and he failed. You failed what you were supposed to do. Ah, uh, well. Uh, nope, not the one I wanted. Expansionist plan. I can never remember which one it is. That'll only be there for one turn before we switch over to exploitative. Because that one's just infinitely better. Yes, <laughs> yes! All right. Of um, I'm gonna wait on doing anything. Oh, now I remember. We have a warp fuel upgrade thing for um, most of these units. Although a lot of them you have to come in here to the technology tree to unlock. But warp fuel now has an actual use beyond doom rockets. And as such, we can uh, build some buildings in certain locations that will uh, facilitate the uh, generation of warp fuel, power. Yes, or the usage yes. thereof. In this case, uh, warp gas and warp stone excavation sites. Which, 8 warp fuel per turn sounds like a lot, but then you get into the actual places where you can use it, on a building, and yeah, they tend to eat that up pretty quick. Alright, that's probably enough explaining. I've already gone like <laughs> nearly a third of the episode without actually doing anything, so uh, let's get going. Uh,. Boros over there, hopefully gonna wipe out Toboro so we can just instantly capture it. Which actually happens pretty often in my experience. Dominating scheme unlocked. Great. Exploitative planning. Anyway, so a little more explanation. Um, you get a certain Sky amount of each one of these best. types of population per turn and it tells you how much requ is required to fully replenish a unit. Uh, these two are not affected by what uh, faction you are, the other three are. For instance, with assassins, my faction only gets 75%. Well, if you were playing Clan Eshin, you would get 200%. Because, you know, seeing as we're uh, Clan Scryer, we get 200% engineers. Because <laughs> we do more engineers and weapon teams. Um, also, for engineers, you can get uh, an extra 200% on your base uh, income, as it were, if you have a source of iron. And for monsters, we receive 75%. Clan Molder would receive 200% because that's their thing, they do monsters. And likewise, uh, in our case we'd get uh, an extra 300%, but I think it, for those who don't have a negative, uh, you just get an extra 200% when you get uh, exotic animals. Although I think the uh, closest source of exotic animals might be uh, Sartosa over here with their... Uh, uh, what? Pawn shop, whatever it's called. All condensers are full. Exo so ready. All right, income, income, income. That we don't need population growth, which is this one also happens to be part of the population mechanic, and we don't actually need more population at the moment, and it doesn't provide a huge amount of income, so we're not going to do that. Um, we are, however going to we want the weapons dump so that we can work our way to uh, getting rattling guns and warp lock jaziles and poison dwind mortars 
Because those are important. We also want the construction cavern for our plate claw catapults and warp lightning cannons. Though in the meantime, we're stuck at level one Skaven Blight. <laughs> uh, may as well grab that for the untainted. Great power! Yes! Yes! And let's uh just grab some clan rats so that if we actually do <laughs> lose all of our public order we can uh subdue the rebels. Rebels again. You're turning out somewhat useless. Oh, here are we. Oh, that's just chieftains. Let's go ahead and grab that one since uh, upkeep minus is always good. And then, did you actually level up? No, he's just a tiny little sliver. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. He shall eventually become strong. Uh, was there an actual battle, or did he just bounce off the, uh, ambush? I, uh, can't quite tell. Okay. Now he's leveled up. Skaven Blight seen many, many worse. So we go ahead and grab that. Still have the triple skill point thing, but again, that affects the AI as well. Don't worry. I think the population mechanic also affects the... AI, but I'm not fully sure on that. If it doesn't, that just means that I'm making things harder for myself. Which, me, me. honestly, is not unusual. Oh, hey, expand the under impact. How long would it take to do it over at my Magritta? Yes, yes. Turns, I suppose. That's fine. It's not like we're not at war with them. Storm Demon! Let's see. Actually, that gives us rattling guns and warp lodges files. Which is important. And also important for uh, Ica Claw's uh, Storm Demon weapon. Spicy, dicey death! <laughs> I usually go with that one first since. That does give us an extra Doom Rocket on occasion. Clan Scryer! Yes. Uh, we still have nothing but Skaven Slave. Oh, I hate early game. Skaven Slaves are so useless. They're so useless. And it's not like upgrading them really helps. Yeah. Um. At minus four, looking better. Where are my schematics? Do I have anything else that might increase uh, public order available? No, no, and nope. Okay, that's just sad. Bad for me, ten times. Mm, I may be able to just go ahead and take Tobaru if I grab a few more clan rats. Keep an eye on Magruta over there. Ah, oh, come on, Goros. You can destroy Tobaru. I've seen you do it. <laughs> Growth plus six, yay. Construction cost, yay. Okay, well. Sorry. Is that. Oh, regardless. Uh, don't have the money for that one. More income. 
I shall continue complaining about income Science. for Sorcery. probably forever, like I did. Malfunction. Uh, Boy, get die, in there. Die. Okay. Um, that's a good balance of power, so I'm probably not do anything with that. Menace below. Although I do need to use a Doom Rocket, but I prefer doing that on an actual full army, because it just Murder, death, kill. Uh, works better that way, in my experience. Anyway, decisive victory. <laughs> Not too surprising. Yeah, Ooh, what'd we get? Dragon Bane Gem. 35 fire resistance. That's that's a good one. Take for And now we'll suffer food under oh, for a while, but hey, stronger. level three town to begin with. That's probably one of the better things about Skaven is that they can instantly if they have enough food, <laughs> uh, max out their, uh, not have, one of these gives more in, uh, probably want to go with food though. So you see we have, you know, base food. We're going to come down here and export half of it. Because that will come over here and imported food plus 30. That means we can sustain more of our population. And we uh, slightly lower that. Uh, let me just check if that's more actually true. No, no! 6071. Hmm. Probably takes a couple turns to uh, work, but regardless. Brute Marcher and... I usually grab Dictatorial, but I might grab Corruptive this playthrough. Uh, so regardless, we're gonna grab Ancient Cunning because... Uh, yeah, Ambush Success Chance with... Uh, a ambush faction, or rather race. Yeah. Test That's gonna subjects. be a thing. And then we can hear... I have insufficient points. Yes, I do. Send in a <laughs> wow, okay. Um... Yeah. Let's just One move you over there for now. We'll uh, figure that uh, part out later. That thing won't. Yay, income. Warlock engineer. Oh, look, nourished. Yeah, first things first, let's see if we dance. Uh, it's in the walls. Leadership plus four. That's uh, that's fine by me. I usually don't like the uh, things no that only give plus for uh, one enemy race, but uh, it's just whatever. Uh, Okay, Bale Print Mars Week. Kill construction! Let's get. Apparently not because I am short. 124. Fine. More income and food is always good. Oh! Bill Bolly has been squished by the. Uh, Raymond Rice, greatest, best inventor! Uh, or at least I presume it's been squished by the, uh... Beastman, there we go. I'll have, uh, Ica Claw come over here and then use the Underway to hopefully, uh, teleport somewhere over here so I can come over here and just grab it for free. 
Also, you might have noticed that Toboro is now Spinefort. That is a uh, automatic renaming mod that I just do because it looks nice. It's not, you know, actually gameplay affecting, but, you know, not everything has to be. Uh, yep. Boros Heart Render, that poor guy. No. No, we got a storm right there. Jeez. Okay. Yes. Wait. Just barely. But we can do it. Uh, Alright. Let's get our wall. In. Oof. And that's a lot of. Um, may be able to grab our or not. AR let's see. Sorcerer inventor, yes, yes. Blast wars. You're not the greatest, dude, are you? Or at least you're having a bad luck this playthrough. <laughs> oh, there goes Kazrak. Oh, that's unfortunate. Driven by hunger, yay. Alright, people. Off to build Bali. Which is uh, just slightly out of range, it seems. Barely. He's barely inside. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, this one is... Personally, I probably would have made the, uh, the border go like that, but it's whatever. Like, the border goes around like that. Oh well. Let's grab our Warlock Master. Fleet-footed or disciplined? Disciplined because leadership is a problem. Master engineer. Military president. Yes. Uh, I can't do anything about making your army much of anything, but master of only grab three apparently. Okay, that's fine. Zap, zap. Yeah, we're skipping over you, because we ain't got the money. Oh, hey! Must have gotten one from uh, when it was actually successful. I don't remember if there's a hero or a lord type that gives you... That's pretty common. Um, gives you warp fuel every turn. Alarm. Drink gained. Awesome. Uh, let's go ahead. Where grab Bill Bolly. I don't remember if this one gets renamed or not. Nope, doesn't look like it does. Ruins docks. Okay, if you say so. Root draft compressor. Yep. Fine. Uh, you. You don't do a lot of trading, escape, and let me tell you. I, I wish I could trade with the Beastmen, because you start out with a non-aggression pact, but, uh, no. Although I don't tend to grab a build that it's telling me to build. Oh, rubbish pit. I'm not going to do that. Sorry. <laughs> um... I tend to only trade with the uh, same race faction since uh, increasing your Needs diplomacy with anyone else is kind of pointless, ultimately, because you just are eventually going to go to war with them, whereas you, with your same race, you can confederate them at some point. So. Armor or uh, 
Let's grab armor. Okay, is that just is a hard one to up most of the time? Demon. And that's it for this turn. Action encountered, churning gulf raiders. Those are the Empire Faction Pirates, I think? Or are they the uh, Norska Pirates? Wrecked. Wrecked. Hey. <laughs> Praise Sigma. Yes, they are the uh, Empire Faction Pirates, that's what I thought. No, wait a minute, that's the Freebooters. Where's the Churning Gulf Raiders? Oh, down here. Yeah, they're the Norska ones. And then Black Buck Thorn the is the, the Dwarven layer. one. Or Dobby, whatever you want to say they are. Four condensers are full. Feud, income, and it's not quite enough for protection. Okay. Uh, More warps down. No, no! Take a little while. Minus three. Master Engineer! Honestly, even Skaven slaves would help with that. Uh, unfortunately, with. Yeah. Bad. Which, if I remember right, is also affected by a mod that just mm, makes it so where if you're uh, on the bad end of food, you're just screwing yourself over really badly. Uh, hero not moved, I don't have the money to do anything with him. Bleak Coast Buccaneers, yep. Action encountered. Raiding. Not that I care, because that's not actually taking much money from me. Yes, indeed. Ooh, it could claw when up the level. Okay. Ancient coming. And I usually grab looter so that I can grab draft master, so I can grab lightning strike, quarter master, and then renowned and feared because lightning strike is the best. Uh, upkeep minus is the greatest thing since sliced cheese. <laughs> and just this one's always good. The blue line is in some ways probably one of the most powerful for Science. any there. lore. Okay. Alright, alarmed tunnel. Plus two per turn. Almost entirely having a problem because of provincial in instability. Yay. Once food gets back up to uh Great power. Yes, yes. Or what would that be? Fifty, I think, to get to forty one percent. Uh I'm not sure. Plus two. Military presence is basically the only thing keeping that above. Uh, 70. Don't Alright. Minus 22 from Spine Port. That's nothing. A scheme of doom. Do I have enough to do that one? Oh yeah, I do. Right perform. Stun critch. Oh, you got some. Oh yeah. That's a change they made that I forgot. Instead of um, summoning the heroes at your uh, faction capital. They get summoned at your faction leader, which can be very useful. Especially in this case where uh, I'm having him go to Lothurn. Because he can just 
skip straight on over to both one. Now the reason I'm having him go over to Lothurn as opposed to, you know, like, Magritta or something is because established Warlock Laboratory is very useful. Earthquake, I've never found it useful because it's a one, one use thing and it doesn't really stop your enemy from uh, just repairing everything the next turn. <laughs> okay, 259, that might be enough. No. Oh. I want some extra income or the possibility of research. Hmm. Well, that'll have to be decided next time because time's up for this episode. See ya.